So, for today, a long awaited package has come in today. This is from last week. Uh, it is it, it is off of a drop, um, uh, like off a of, off of Supreme Drop. We'll, we'll be opening that in a second, but uh, just for a little bit of insight on what the rest of the video is going to be, uh, it's we're just going to be talking about good investments versus bad investments. I'm talking about clothes. I'm not telling you what stocks to invest in because I'm I'm not that guy. All right, so let's uh, let's get in let's get into it. Nothing there, that's for sure. You know, I don't know if I'm the only person, but I get very excited when I whenever I get a package. Oh yeah. Now with me, I know there's the whole VNDS, which what I learned um, stands for very near dead stock. That's not me, man. It's got to be sealed, dead stock. Buy it and I go to sell it. It's got to. It's got to be dead stock. It's got to be dead stock to the max. Show it to you at least from the bag. Here it's just you got the mountain scheme on the other other side of the shirt. It says Supreme and North Face. Did it come with any stickers? Here's the thing. I'm assuming it came with stickers. Now, I'm not one of those guys that's like, comment down below, but I, uh, please do comment if, if you know the answer to if there's, uh, stickers in it or not. Overall, it's a cool looking t-shirt, and, um, yep, go check, uh, go check BC Thrifters Club, because by the time you see this, it'll, it'll be up there. Um, alright, now, good investment time. We're we talking about investing in t-shirts. What I mean by that is that when um, you're online, let's just talk about Supreme for a good example because we know that a certain t-shirt of theirs with a, you know, red box in the middle of it goes for, you know, good good, good amounts of money. Um, and I don't know how much they go for because I can't actually find any, like, on, on um, Grailed at least. I, I, there's probably some on eBay, but I just haven't, haven't checked. Um, is that you can buy a t-shirt for a good, like, let's say a new t-shirt. Let's not even go to the thrifting part yet. You can buy a new t-shirt um, on a drop. You're, you're one of the lucky people to get it. Um, you buy it for, uh, if it's $54, which they usually are, Supreme t-shirts, um, that rounds up to after tax and all that stuff. I know it's going to round up to $119. Um, because I know that's how much Supreme T-shirt cost. One eighteen. So and then uh, so yeah, one twenty. It's going to cost you one twenty Canadian at least. Um, American. That's a totally different story. It just costs you ninety. Um, if you has to get, if you live in the U.S. and it has to get shipped to you. Um, but anyways, yeah. That and then you can flip it for two three hundred plus dollars. Now, I don't want people watching this going, oh, you don't know anything. Um, because I, I do know stuff, but um, I, I don't know too much about box logos, what they go for, and how much, and like where you can get them. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing is, going, going to the thrift, is um, all these, these are just, these are just, these are, no, okay, just poke myself in the eye. Um, these are all just t-shirts. Well, this one's a, this one's button up. It's like a, it's a Blue Jays. And this is, a, this is a button up as well. Just throw that over there. Um, is is you can get a, a t-shirt, preferably like a band t-shirt. Um, this is something I'm just gonna show you something that sells here. A band t-shirt. Look at this, Rolling Stones. Yeah, the graphic on it you can't really see. Oh, there you go, Rolling Stones. A bigger bang t-shirt, which um, like their tour from I think it was 2008. 2007, actually, or 2006, somewhere in there. Another shirt you can get is um, racing t-shirts. Like this racing t-shirt right here with the, with the logo right there. And then in the back, you get that. Well, like, that's just, I'm just showing you um, a racing shirt that I got. Racing shirts go good. Band t-shirts, as I said. Um, sporting, vintage sporting t-shirts. Like this, like this Blue Jays t-shirt right here. Now, I, I don't want to make this one those like, 
thrift haul videos because I've gotten these over a series of times. Fortunately, haven't sold them. Now, I don't want it to look like, well, you haven't sold them yet, so, you know, therefore they don't sell. Because they do sell. Um, it's just those ones, those ones haven't. You know, it's all about timing as well. Like, you can get the right person at the right time. Um, another thing that sells is um, jerseys, like button ups. Um, like that. I don't know why I'm showing you the back, because you get the idea. Just, you know, button up jersey. Now you got a little bit of an idea on a, a good investment for um, just something you could pick up and maybe try and sell. This is just for people who um, are starting to do the whole resale game. I'm just kind of, these next few episodes, um, I, I would like to maybe just do some information on what I found has sold. Um, because I'll, I'll get into other, other thrifting things, other things that you can find when you're thrifting that you can um, easily um, flip. I just thought I should start with t-shirts, see how well this video does. Hope you like the first little bit of uh, me setting up the Christmas tree in my room. That's not the, it's not the family Christmas tree. Um, that's just the one that I record myself setting up every year. Anyways, um, as I said, you should go, go check this out. It's on BC Thrifters Club. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Go find BC Thrifters Club on Instagram. Hit the follow button, direct message me if you're interested in anything, and uh, yeah, have a good day guys.